everybody. How's it going? It's Costa Carl. Oh, let's see. Topic today is going to be why I really want to go to Universal Studios. Universal Studios is somewhere that I have never been. Um, I really want to go to it because I think their business strategies are really interesting. Like, it's kind of neat how they take, like, all these different action movies and try to figure out how to make rides out of them. And they try to use all the types of technologies out there. Yes, I understand Disney tries to do that too, but Disney doesn't do that great of a job on that. Um, Universal is probably the top on my list only because of the fact that I want to see how they did the Harry Potter section of the park. Um, I want to see that in person. Um, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, um, but I'll check it out anyway. Um, I also really, really, really want to see how they did the Simpsons area. I mean, I love the Simpsons, but I'm not too much of a big collector of their stuff. Um, and I'm curious to see what kinds of rides that they have for that. Um, there's not very many ride videos of the rides at Universal. I don't know if that has to do with because of their video camera policy on the rides. I don't know if they have, I don't even know if they have a policy for that. Um, if somebody could please let me know on that. Um, because I would rather see videos to see if it's something that I really want to check out or not, but surprises are good for me too. Uh, there are some rumors going around that they want to incorporate um, Nintendo in Universal somehow. I don't know how they're going to do that, but that might be pretty cool. Um, but Universal has some of the coolest roller coasters on the planet. They have like the Incredible Hulk coaster, which is something that I've always wanted to ride. Um, it was the very first B&M launch coaster ever, um, which the second B&M launch coaster just went in to a park called Holiday World, which I thought is really neat. Um, so that 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 would be pretty awesome. And the other coaster that I thought was really neat is the um, I'm trying to remember what's called the Dueling Dragons that they've just recently. I I don't know if they moved it or if they left it where it was, the Dueling Dragons that they made a part of the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter down there. So, I mean, I think that's going to be pretty neat once they, uh, or once I get to go down there and see that and ride it. Um, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, so far for location shoots with me, it it's not sounding too promising as of right now. Um, hopefully down the road I can do a lot of lot more location shoots. Um, I think there are probably a lot more things that I have to look into to be able to do that. Um, I'm sure that there are media uh, um, papers that I have to fill out at a park and a bunch of different other legal stuff maybe um, I don't know um, my friend or my um, a couple of the videos that I watch um, which is they go and do location shoots at amusement parks 
and I was hoping maybe they could tell me on uh, what I need to do for that. Um, so maybe if they could tell me or something. Um, let's see what else. There is um, this stuff called Birdie Beer. I don't I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is a non-alcoholic beverage. I'm guessing that I wouldn't mind trying, but I have been told that it's it tastes like cream soda and I'm not a big fan of cream soda. Ugh. Um, that's all I have to say about cream soda. Um, let's see. I really wish I could have gotten there before they closed the E.T. ride. Because E.T. is like one of my favorite movies of all times. And so hopefully that they can figure that out at some point. Um, maybe put in a different one or something, but I highly doubt it. Uh, the other ride that I kind of was disappointed that they got rid of that I never got to ride was the Back to the Future. I don't particularly know what they're going to do with the Jurassic Park ride since they're doing, I don't know, a new movie, so we'll see what they're going to do with that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of interested to try Universal Studios food. Um, I don't know if it would be like your typical amusement park food or if they have a bunch of different things. I'd like to look into the costs of going to Universal. <laughs> I've been told that it's more than going to Disney, but we'll see about that. Um, I don't see. This is a park I don't know too much about. Uh, I have read up on it, but I don't know too much about it. Um, I guess that they're going to be doing some kind of new King Kong ride, which, if you ask me, that's for a lot older generation than what I am, because I was born in 84, so I don't know anything about King Kong. Uh, You'd have to ask an. I'm guessing you'd ha probably have to ask an old senile person about <laughs> about uh, King Kong. So that's something I don't really understand. But um, all I know is it has something to do with that clay animation stuff that they did way back in the old and senile days. I guess I don't know. I got my friend John laughing over here. Everybody say hi to my friend John. Hi. <laughs> he doesn't realize this is going to be posted up on YouTube, and he'll be on YouTube for the very first time in his life. Uh, I don't think he's used to that, but... <laughs> yeah. He, he's one of my... Uh, really good friends and one of my really good neighbors in this place. Uh, other than that, you can't say much about the other neighbors around here. Uh, we're not going to get into that. That's going to be another video. And boy, I'm going to throw you guys through a loop with that one. Wow. Uh, I will tell you this much. Um, I really like where I live. It's a really nice place. Um, I live right in the city of Lansing, Michigan, which is, Lansing, Michigan is nothing to write home about, I'll tell you that much. It, <laughs> we have, I feel that we have probably more crime than anywhere else in Michigan, with, with the exception of Detroit, I think we're running neck and neck with Detroit, um, and, and it's kind of sad for me to talk about that. But we're not going to get into that anymore. Um, 
But, yeah, I, I think I'm going to get off the universal subject because I don't really know much about it. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about where I grew up and my childhood. I was born May 25th, 1984. My birthday is coming up, by the way. And I grew up right here in Lansing. Shortly after I was born, um, my parents decided that they wanted to move to Diamonddale, Michigan, which is a really small town, uh, which is almost right next door to um, the west side of Lansing. Some of you may know where Diamonddale is. Um, I went back there and lived for a while, and I was really bored, and I was pretty much secluded from hardly any of the major stores, and it really sucked. Um, so, I've lived in Lansing my whole life. Um, my dad is no longer living. My father passed away in... September 11th, 2011. My mother is still alive. My mother remarried. Um, I, For video purposes, I can say that I really like the guy that she married. Um, he's different sometimes, but I, I look past all that, and I mean that in a very nice way. Uh, I don't want to get on his bad side. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, I have a sister who I talk to every once in a while when she's not high as a kite. That's a different story. We're not going to get into that. I have a brother who... Uh, rarely ever talk to, let's just put it that way. Um, but when my mother remarried, I acquired three, yes, three stepsisters. So I, te I technically have a sister-in-law, a sister, and three stepsisters. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really interesting. Um... I had a really rough childhood, and that is due to the fact because I had a really, really tough time. I am learning disabled, and so that, it, it was really tough for me. I got very frustrated at times with my disability, and I didn't really like it very much, um, but then, of course, who does? But I've been able to look past that. Um, it still frustrates me every once in a while, but I do the best I can. I literally had to learn a lot of stuff on my own because... My school didn't want to teach me anything. Nothing. I was stuck at my um, addition and subtraction throughout my whole time of school. I was not um, moved up to my addition, my subtraction, or my division. I, don't, I mean, sorry, I, I screwed up on that. I was not moved up to my multiplication or division. I did not learn algebra. I had to teach that stuff to myself. I'm still learning algebra, and I'm still learning my times tables and my 
division. But luckily I have a calculator where I can do that. Um, it's, it's really tough living with a learning disability. And from people who have not been in my shoes, I am wishing that they would understand what it's like because I absolutely despise and hate the word, the R word. That is not in my vocabulary. That will never be in my vocabulary. I can't talk too much about where I work, but what I can say is I work with a bunch of people who have disabilities. And the R word is not tolerated there. That's why I like working there so much, is because the R word is not tolerated. I'm around people who have disabilities and who have disabilities like mine, but even though I'm a li just a little bit higher functioning than they are, that doesn't make a difference because I'm in the same boat as they are. When you watch my videos, you can tell, yes, I am learning disabled, and yes, I say um a lot and everything else. But if you look past all that, you can see that I'm pretty knowledgeable and pretty much I know what I'm talking about. So I'm really hoping that all of you can accept me for who I am and accept me for who I am here on YouTube. I mean, I would love to have a lot more subscribers. That is one thing that I'm looking for because I want people to enjoy what I talk about, um, enjoy my channel. You know, I mean, I, w I would love all this. So, I mean, if you like what you see, please subscribe to me. And please leave nice comments. I mean, don't leave, like, those comments where you're saying, Oh, you don't know what the F you're talking about, or this, that, or anything else. I mean, that that is not needed. I mean, I get so tired of seeing these people get on YouTube, and they have these things called trolls. We're not going to talk about trolls, because I don't believe in these so-called things on YouTube called trolls. If you are trolling me you'll be figuring out how to be deleted. And I'm not kidding about that either. Um, I got totally off subject, and I'm so sorry. Um, back to where I grew up. So, living here in Lansing, we have had a lot of changes. There... In my opinion, it's really not the best place to live, but it's a home. We have some of the same stores that some of you might have, but then there's a lot of things that we don't have. Um... We get overlooked by big companies all the time, so we don't we don't have as much as a lot of people do. Like say out in the suburbs of Detroit, where they have everything, and we don't have those kind of things. So it, it's it's really different. So um, I will continue with part two here shortly because my computer is about to restart so I will continue with part two here soon um, I will be right back